Good day guys, nice to have you here. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of Arcus' recent adjustment on the advanced server. It's not really a buff and more of an optimization but it really will help him perform a lot better once released on the original server. For the very few people who are not aware of it yet, Argus can now activate his ultimate midway through other animations including skill casts. This means chaining skill combos with his ultimate will be much easier and you'll be also able to avoid the issues most players encounter when his ultimate does not activate because his skills aren't done animating yet. Argus in my opinion is not a weak hero at all and can be very effective if the developers just make some very minor adjustments in order to allow him to perform much better. I'll present some ideas that can turn Argus into an even more powerful hero without turning him into an overpowered beast. Some of these ideas I believe can go well with each other and it's up to your imagination which ones would that be. If you agree with my recommendations, be sure to hit like and share this video to spread the word. And while you're at it, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. Rage gain increases based on lost HP. In my opinion, this can be a great way of improving his damage output without the need of activating his ultimate. It's the same as his old rage gain prior to the revamp but takes effect earlier and is not as powerful. With this, players can open up other build paths for Argus which might encourage them to buy a few defensive equipment. Sounds exciting, right? And if you dislike the idea of buying defensive gear for Argus, it would still be okay because you will still gain some of its benefits. It's up to the developers how it is going to be calculated. But I think a good ratio is 1% improvement in rage gain for every 100 missing HP capped at 40% or something around that percentage. Enhanced Basic Attack Optimization Currently, if Argus' target dies, all of the rage he gained will be used up even if the second slash of his enhanced basic attack didn't land on the fallen target. In my opinion, if his second slash doesn't land, he's not supposed to lose all of the rage he gained. If this is implemented, the frequency of using his passive spontaneously with his second skill as a combo will increase thus making him more effective against the opposing hero, especially during the laning phase. Buff his ultimate. Give his ultimate control immunity for at least one second. That's it. Right now, it can only dispel or remove control effects upon activation. But if it's given at least one second of control immunity after activating, that should help him plenty. I don't think an explanation is required here. It's pretty obvious why this adjustment or buff is going to be a good one if implemented. Buff his second skill. Enemies hit by his second skill will receive bonus damage from his basic attacks, excluding the bleeding damage from the second skill itself. This will help force enemies to retreat, thus triggering the bleeding damage effect of the skill. Right now, especially in higher ranks, players just stay put and stand their ground against Argus, especially since he is not very powerful on the early game against some other side lane fighters. Speed up his first skill's animation. His first skill could really use an animation buff and increase its traveling speed. This will open up more opportunities for outplays and chase downs. How about you guys? What do you think about these recommendations? Do you have any more ideas? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.